In this tutorial, we will learn how to round the edges of an object. When you add any object in Blender, by default it gets created with very sharp edges. In order to make these edges smooth or to round them, we need to use a modifier called Bevel Modifier. So let us go to the Modifier tab and add a Bevel Modifier. You can see a flat segment is added to each edge. To make it even better, we need to increase this number of segments. The result is immediately visible here. The edges now look completely round. If required, you can also use a higher value, like 20 as well. The amount of space that bevel takes, can be controlled by this amount field. Let us enter point 2. The bevel section is now wider. This way you can round the edges and corners of any object. But this has a limitation. When you bevel an object, all its edges get rounded. You can use different amount of bevel for different objects. But if you want to bevel or round only the top four edges of this cube, keeping all other edges as it is, you cannot do that with bevel modifier. You have to do it through editing. So, first remove this modifier from here. Then go to the edit mode. Deselect everything. Enable the face selection mode and select the top face. Now on the left side toolbar, select the bevel tool. Then press on this yellow handle and slowly drag it upward, a bevel section will be created. Now release the mouse and open this small toolbox or the operator box. Just like before, increase the number of segments to say 20. You can also control the amount or the width of the bevel section here. Once everything is done, close this operator box and go back to the object mode. So, we got the top four edges of this cube beveled, while all other edges are sharp. That looks perfect. Blender also allows us to use a different shading or a different material for the bevel section. But we have to do it in the edit mode, and first we have to index the materials. Let us delete this cube and start afresh with a new object. Maybe a cube. And for the variation, let us add another cube. Scale it and reposition it on top of the first cube. Then select both the cubes and join them to make a single object. So, this will be our object which we will bevel. You can use any object. The shape does not matter. Now for this object, we need to index the materials. In the Materials tab, this section contains the materials indexed for this object. Add one and assign a new material for this, we will go with the default values. Add another material and this time we will change the material's color to something in red. Finally, turn on the rendered view. And go to the edit mode. While all the faces are selected, and the bevel tool is also selected, move this handle upward, and create a bevel for our object. Then, open the operator box and adjust the number of segments to 15 or 20. And also adjust the bevel amount, to whatever looks good. So you can now change this material index. Here 0 represents the first material on this list. And 1 is the second material, or the red material that we have assigned. Now close this section and go back to the object mode. You get this object with rounded corners, and it even has a different material effect for the edges. We can conclude that the bevel tool in edit mode is more powerful than the simple bevel modifier. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.